obviously being from a medical point of view and having a lot of medical supervision and import on our products, for me it's really important to, we all talk about products and ingredients and nearly every brand does, but then to truly walk the walk and talk the talk is important to me. I don't know how many other mousses and tan extensions I pick up out there that have got propylene glycol in them. Now I think I've been successful because I've been banging on for five or six years now about propylene glycol and spray tan products and it's a petrochemical you should never be breathing it in but until I got on the bandwagon about it and started beating people over the head about it every other brand thought that was okay I didn't and I guess I'm the person that won't sit back and just accept I'm the person that will I guess stand up and shout out no it's not okay and I have been the brunt of a lot of bullying and a lot of ridicule and a, you know, a lot of other brands get their knives out when I walk past but I won't let that deter me so on one hand I guess I feel like I'm a voice for the industry and for women's health and for women's issues and on the other hand I know what it's like to be you know bullied and pushed around because you stand up for what's right and that's just made me stronger so I think I'll just be more outspoken um, because of the feedback that I get from our salon owners and our retail clients every day and I have an absolutely gorgeous teenager niece who I'm really concerned about what goes on her skin so it's important for not only myself but the next generation and for the generations to follow through so propylene glycol is one that is starting to disappear I still see it in mousses and tannic skins. so just do me a favor pick up the the bottle turn it over and have a look for that ingredient the other one that is um, a carcinogenic and it's really not good to breathe in is your reflux and I do know it's an organic ingredient but I also say a snake bite is an organic ingredient now that snake bite's going to kill you in two minutes if it comes of a brown or a black snake so you know we can argue a difference here but pick up your bottle turn it over if it's got your reflux in it put it in the bin there is no if, buts or whys. You are breathing in something that is a known carcinogenic. Not just you, but your clients.